Hi everyone. I want to read from Matthew 13, verse 13, where Jesus says, Therefore I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor they understand. For the hearts of this people have grown dull, their ears are hard of hearing. Growing up, I remember very clearly how my father used to struggle to hear. He was in the war, Second World War, and he was involved in a landmine incident. So he was blown up. He was badly wounded and uh, his hearing was impaired. But over the years, I began to realize that my father could use his struggle to hear to his advantage. And there are times where we would all be sitting around the dinner table. And if he didn't want to listen, he would just, as it were, switch off the hearing and he would not hear. He didn't have a hearing aid, but there was some mental block that he could somehow engage. At other times, even though his ear was not working, he heard things that he should never have heard. I found that out. So there was more than just the physical problem, but there was like an attitude. And you know, as Christians, we can be in the same state. We can become hard of hearing. We allow a situation to harden our hearts. We allow an attitude. We allow our doctrinal understanding. We become rigid and we don't hear what the Lord is trying to say to us. We're blocked. We need to learn to keep our hearts open to hear. It's not a physical thing, but there's an attitude of heart that is very important. It's a decision, a determination that wherever I am, whatever's going on, I want to hear what God is saying. You know, it's amazing. Growing, when we've had young children growing up, we can go and visit somebody and there may be a few families there and you end up with, I don't know, 10, 12 children and they're running in the garden and they're playing and they're screaming and having great fun. And then one of them will fall down and hurt themselves and they will cry. And one of the mothers instantly will stand up and go because she knows that's her child. She knows. It's like there's a, there's a, they finally tuned to hear the voice of their own child. We need to become finely tuned to hear the voice of the Lord. Through all the activities of life, all the situations that you will face today and tomorrow, it's so easy to just switch off and just plod on instead of realizing we need to have a heart that is looking to God to speak, to hear what God is saying, to hear His voice. It may be a caution, it may be a rebuke, it may be direction, it may be revelation, but our hearts need to become open and tender and tuned in to the voice of God. God bless you today.